All right, so this is something I find extremely interesting. Cardi B is officially the new creative director with uh, Playboy magazine. Now, here's why I find this so interesting. I did not know that Playboy magazine was still a thing. But as I'm reading here, uh, wow. She, she's introducing this new platform called Centerfold. Um, uh, creative director. Um, okay, I don't know. The, okay, I don't know. The fuck, I don't know what all that shit mean. But look, here's the thing. Here, I hadn't seen those two words together, Playboy and magazine, in any meaningful way in at least fifteen years. I didn't. I did not know. And, and this ain't about Cardi B. This is about. I did not know Playboy was still a thing. I have no idea if they still, do they still sell Playboy magazines? Do they still sell men's magazines like Playboy? I'm so confused right now because why would, why, like who's buying Playboy magazine or any of their magazines? Because looking at a naked woman in a magazine is a, is a letdown compared to what you can look at on TikTok, on Instagram, on TikTok. TikTok is softcore porn. The only bad thing about TikTok is you be looking at the, boy, they be, I mean, they, the dancing and, and the, the booty shot, I mean, just the, the, the shots of the cheeks and the cakes and the tots, all that, it be like, whoa! And then you scroll deeper into into the, into the profile and you find out that she's a high school sophomore and you're like, oh shit. <sighs> Let me <clears throat> delete that comment. Okay, no, I'm just kidding. But seriously, Playboy was a thing when I was like 11, 12. Playboy was a thing because for an 11 and 12 year old to get a hold of a Playboy magazine, you could actually see nipples and pubes. And when you saw nipples and pubes at 11, on a grown woman, she, man. <sighs> then came Penthouse. Oh yeah. Then came Penthouse, and Penthouse took it to another level. See, Penthouse came along, and they gave you nipples and pubes, but they also gave you some pink. Now you didn't get no pink with Playboy. Well, you got very little pink, but you got pink with uh, Penthouse. Now, when you about twelve to fourteen, and you can see grown lady pink, grown lady pink was something. That was, yeah. then, just when you thought it couldn't get any better, here come Hustler. Oh, my God. Here comes Hustler. Hustler changed the game. Shout out to Larry Flint. Hustler changed the game. Because when Hustler came along, that same 12, 13, 14-year-old boy, man, not only was you seeing nips, not only was you seeing pubes, not only was you seeing lips, and not only was you seeing pink, you were seeing juices and cream. Juices and cream. When you 12, 13, 14 years old and you see grown lady juices and cream, 